Well, a 16-year-old high school senior by the name of Malik Barnes is making headlines across the country for being accepted to 170 colleges and universities and being awarded over $9 million in scholarships. We are lucky enough to have Malik joining us this morning to talk more about his accomplishments. Malik, good morning. Good morning, Ms. Lauren. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you doing? I'm doing really good. <laughs> are you uh, handling all this uh, attention nationally okay? Yeah, I'm handling it good. It's definitely an experience. It is an experience. Well, one, I hope that you are thoroughly taking the time to enjoy. Let's talk about where you are right now. You're 16 years old, but you're getting ready to graduate, I understand, with a 4.98 GPA. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so what what do you think about all these universities? I mean, obviously, this was something that you had to plan with your school counselor throughout. I mean, how early did you start planning uh, maybe making this a, a thing where you were going to be accepted by so many universities? Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. This Anything that I said I was going to make a thing, um, it was never a goal. It was never something that I started and said, OK, this is where I'm going to be. This is going to be the timeline. I just initially started with the intentions of being college bound. Um, I was applying to schools that I knew I had interest in, schools that I knew had my major, and schools where I know that I would be comfortable if I were to be admitted to. Um, somewhere along the line, I just kept applying, and my numbers started going up. My acceptances, the scholarship money, it started increasing, and it got to a point where I was amazed. I didn't expect it. I was in awe at how high up the numbers had gotten. I was at a few million when I first realized, like, wow. Um, but then somewhere along the line, someone made it, brought it to my attention that I was on the verge of breaking the record. And when that happened, I just kind of went for it. I kind of got close and I, I just, I went for the kill. Yeah. <laughs> now you are a young senior, right? At 16. Did you skip a grade somewhere along the line? Yes, ma'am, I did. Um, when I first got to international high school, I started out as a 10th grader. I went to that school and I started the first semester and by the second semester, I was promoted to 11th grade. That school year came to a close and this year for the 2022-2023 school year, I was entered in as a 12th grader and I'm getting ready to graduate. Well, congratulations. That uh, that's exciting. I mean, why, might as well uh, get started, right? What what do you think, Malik, is is sort of the secret to your success and how you have uh, really been on this fast track and achieved so much in in grade school? Um, I give glory now to God. Definitely, I think for everything He's doing, He kind of keep me through. Keep it going, even when I don't want to. You know, some days it's gonna be harder than others. Everything not always gonna be easy. So I just thank God for the determination, the diligence to keep going and for waking me up every day. Um, I do have a, I definitely do have a supportive and encouraging group behind me, a strong support system. My parents, my family, my friends, and I give a lot of credit to my counselor, Ms. Denise James. She helped me a lot and guided me through this process from the beginning up until today, since I started at International High School. Um, she definitely opened up a lot of doors and opportunities and just revealed some things to me that I may not have known as a student. Um, just as a counselor, doing her job, guiding me as, as she's supposed to. Um, so I definitely thank her. I credit her. Um, I definitely do have a lot of things. My place of so time management is definitely something that I had to learn, especially with doing the college applications, with doing extracurricular and just maintaining school as a whole. So I wouldn't say it was always easy, but it was definitely something that I was able to manage. Yeah, and, and you talk about time management. I know you you play basketball on, on the school's team as well as track and field. So you're a busy kid. I'm guessing there's not a lot of time for video games and the like. So as as a mom of two boys, Malik, I want to know, what did, what did your parents do to push you? What, what were some of the things that you think you could tell other parents? Okay, don't let your kids do this, but maybe have them do this. Um, one thing that I could say is that my parents have always been in my ear with wisdom, you know, with knowledge and understanding, kind of to give that to me. They're just counseling me. Um, one thing that I can definitely say is that they 
definitely stress the importance of education and keeping God first. And that's something that's advice that I took. Um, Usually I take the advice from everybody that speaks to me. Not everybody going to have the right thing to say, but I make it a priority to listen to what everybody has to say just so that I can process it and use my own judgment to make a good decision. So, so I think that having an open mind to the advice that people give you, because it's always going to be someone to be there no matter where you go, whether it's in your home or outside, just walking outside or just going anywhere is always going to be somebody you know that's going to tell you stuff and i've had that by experience I, I know that for a fact so just having an open mind and listening to what everybody has to say and you know just using your own judgment i think that is excellent advice malik okay we know you're you're a double major uh, you're announcing tomorrow what school you're going to attend out of the the 170 you care to give us a little hint here in san diego where, where you may be going I'm going to be announcing my decision May 3rd, Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning now, okay. Are you staying closer to home or farther away, you think? Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking I'm gonna be going out, I'm going getting away from New Orleans. Okay, all right, well, there's a little hint. We'll take it. Malik, we wish you the best uh, in everything we do. You know, you'll be a huge success and we thank you for talking to us here in San Diego, giving, giving some of us some inspiration out there. Definitely. I really do appreciate you for having me. Absolutely. Take care, young man. <laughs>